Hey, I'm excited about today because what I'm teaching on is what is life like in heaven? I'm sure in heaven I won't be a horse like today, but you can put up with me, right? Thank you for doing it. So let me give you some wonderful facts about heaven. You know, I think people just think, oh, heaven, and it's kind of ethereal. But I look at Revelation 6, 9 through 11. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, until you judge and avenge our blood on this earth? Ooh, of those who dwell on earth. Then a white robe was given to each of them, and it was said to them that they should rest a little while longer until both the number of their fellow servants and their brethren who would be killed as they were was completed. When Christians die here, they relocate in heaven. Put your hand on your heart. Say, don't, I won't forget. As a Christian, I will relocate in heaven. That's very important. And they are the same people. Hebrews 12, 23, to the general assembly in the church of the firstborn who are registered, registered, I guess I like that especially, in heaven, to God, the judge of all, to the spirits of just men made perfect. They were remembered in heaven for what they did on earth. God is very well aware of our activity here. And so I see that they are rational. I see that they're emotional and communicating. So you say, I'm going to check out heaven. Well, check it out, honey. It's really good. They ask God to intervene on earth. They are free to ask God questions. I think I'll have a lot, don't you? <laughs> and then, if you know this, you could send your prayer requests to MarilynAndSarah.org because I believe those get into heaven because we pray over them. And they know what's happening on, he on earth. They are distinct individuals with body forms. Heaven, heaven is family time. I like that. Family time. Ephesians 3.15, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Hey, we're in the same family. You're born again. You're in the same family. And those who endure bad things are comforted in heaven. And I'm reading Luke 18.25. But Abraham said, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things and likewise Lazarus, evil things, but now he is comforted and you are tormented. Ooh, that doesn't sound so good. In heaven, we will give account for our lives. There will be rewards in heaven. I always think that shocks me a little. Then I saw a great white throne and him who sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books, plural. You say, is this Bible? Oh yeah, this is Revelation 20, 11 through 13. And we may be ignorant of heaven, but they are not ignorant of earth. Isn't that something? And we often wonder, well, do they know what's happening to me? And Samuel and Saul, Moses and Elijah at Transfiguration, who appeared in glory and spoke of his decease, which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. Hebrews 12.1. Therefore we also, 
Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, lest we run with it, that we run with endurance the race that is set before us. Hey, that's cool. You want to finish it, don't you? Saints are watching us. Are they disappointed in you? Angels saw Christ on earth. Abraham and Lazarus saw the rich man in hell. Ooh, this really gets nitty gritty, doesn't it? Ooh. Luke 15, 7, I say to you that likewise there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 just persons who need no repentance. So, you know, I think we think, oh, well, what's going on in heaven? The Bible tells you. And so you're listening. And heaven is eternal. It doesn't stop and start. Revelation 21, 4. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain for the former things have passed away. So you say, wow, heaven sounds really wonderful. But what about the people we know that don't know Jesus? I'm going to ask you to make a prayer list of seven people you know who are not going to heaven. Pray for each one for seven days. Folks, I do my praying early in the morning. And of course, you can send your prayer request to marilynandsarah.org. But I like early because my mind is fresh. But because in the evening, I'm kind of oh, relaxing, getting ready to go to sleep, probably. So remember, there are seven people you know who are not going to heaven. Don't tell me you don't know seven lost people. And pray for each one for seven days. I believe in miracles, and I believe you believe in miracles, and we love to hear from you with your prayer requests.